today they've come face to face at a neutral location in Manchester. John T. Brown comes with a message. Security is on hand just in case. Who's your two friends, Mr. Brown? You're not yeah, afraid of me, are you? No, indeed I'm not. Well, why do you bring Never security? Was. You falsely accuse me of um, a bomb in your house. If your home is attacked in the manner that mine was attacked... And My I home's been attacked more times than yours. Once, that's true. To take you out or to put you down in jail was a police imperative. But my pursuit of you was professional, not personal. It should never be taken to a family. Hmm. Well, you stuck it to my family, didn't you? Go ahead. He's raided my house on a number of occasions. He's smashed my doors in. He's sledgehammered my doors in. With the job, he's handcuffed it? me. He's handcuffed my wife. He's took us away to holding centres and held us for days upon days. Whether you're involved in crime by way of terrorism, gangsterism, Drug dealing, prostitution, you'll, you'll suffer house searches. If you put yourself in a frame for directing terrorists, you can't complain when a detective sergeant comes after you like an Exocet missile. Jaunty's message turns out to be a warning. If you go back to Northern Ireland, you'd be shot dead. As simple as that. I would say there'd be people lying, queuing up to kill you, the UDA. As we speak, they're trying to whack you. They don't care whether it's in Bolton or Troon. Mm or wherever, but they'll get mm -hmm. to Talk is cheap, you know, It's easy to jump on this stage and read out statements that we're going to kill you, Johnny, out there. I've heard it all before throughout the years. Action speaks louder than words. And if you don't watch yourself, you're going to end up dead. And why? Would... Life's too short. Well, Johnny, life is too short. There's jump. more to life than loyalism. But Adair doesn't take kindly to being told where he can and cannot go. Six of the so-called brigadiers threatened to have me murdered. To date, two of these so-called brigadiers are now themselves six foot under, dead, and Johnny Adair is still standing here talking. Johnny Adair will return home soon. John T. Brown has warned that should Adair return to Belfast, he will be killed. This sparks an idea for an ambitious yet potentially deadly stunt designed to humiliate the very people that are threatening him. He's hatching a plan that puts two fingers up to those baying for his blood. What I always say, I always say, he who laughs last will laugh the longest. And what goes around will come around. Despite the death threats, Adair is planning a trip to Belfast with military precision. It's a 600-mile journey from Scotland through England, Wales, the Republic of Ireland and a late-night border crossing into Northern Ireland. Decoy cars and safe houses are planned in conditions of utmost secrecy. Hello? Once we head to Wales, we board the ferry, it brings us into Dublin. We'll travel by car across the border to the north of Ireland. Then we'll be taken to a safe house. Um, we'll run the field at that safe house. And we'll put up the effect of our plan. <laughs> If I'm not careful, then these people were to capture me. I've no doubt that they would kill me. No doubt whatsoever. The reason you're out in Dublin now, I'm hoping that the party don't stop me on the way through. Because if they do, I believe they'll alert the PSN I'm off the border. And that uh, obviously uh, they will put me under some sort of surveillance and this is what I don't want. I want to be able to go in. Oh, 
That's fresh. <laughs> Rotten. 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 <laughs> I mean, the 2005 Aero Accident here. Dangerous place to be safe. Well, that's going to hurt him. Come on. Johnny? Yeah? Yeah, home. No, 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 just go straight up and fuck sick. I told you to go left, David. Is he coming behind us or what? I told you to go left, David. Go right. Oh, he's there. It's the cops. Is it? It's the cops. See? Just drive off down. I saw the front of the way about it. Oh, it's the stop there. That's us go, 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 go. Fuck sick, stop. Fuck sick, that's such fuck now. Yeah. Hello, how are you? We reserve our right to film when you want to film. So today I'll shoot yourself. You know who it is? Yeah. They know it's me? Yeah. Yes? Didn't say it, but they do, yeah. They know it was me? Yeah. How did they know this? To be frank, they wouldn't be doing the job, Johnny, if they didn't know. Well, if they know, would the UDA know? Yeah. Well, obviously the, the intelligence services have their... There are reasons of, of, or, of finding out what certain people's doing, and obviously Mr Adair is, is, is one of them people who would be of interest to the intelligence services, whereas they would put him under surveillance, bug his phone, bug his car, bug his home. That's probably one of the reasons why we were stopped, just coming out of the, the Shankill estate there. My fear is now, would the police leak to my enemies that, 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 that I am in the country? Mm. I don't know, but I'll not let it hinder what, what my plans are to do. Who's that guy there? Hey, just you go over there. Coming in the, under the lower shingle now. This is where I used to live. And this is where my family was exiled from three years ago when I was returned to prison. An area that I love, and the people in it I love. This used to be my homeland. This here was the badge that I'm proud of. At one time I was gone in this community, and now, sadly, the people who are now in charge violently turned to me and my family and my friends. And sadly, this area is now controlled by drug dealers, um, rapists, housebreakers, and just petty criminals. Feels strange. And it feels that the place is just, it's just, it's not what it was three years ago. It doesn't have the same atmosphere about it. I feel distance from it now. I feel, obviously, because the people that, that, that's in charge here now, I, I believe that they've ruined the community. They've erased everything to do with our culture in terms of murals and, and, and flags and 